afternoon, whatever it might be. No. Birthday boy. Birthday boy indeed. Old man. Birthday old man. <laughs> oh god, it's horrible getting old. Don't get old. I can guarantee you to get cut now. Don't get old. <laughs> <laughs> Stay young, it's mint. Only the good die young. I'm 28 if I have it, that's bad. As one of the team, how do you feel on a, on a big race day like this? You get a bit nervous. Um, just want to make sure everything's right for James. So we just keep going over the bike, making sure everything's perfect. And that gives him the best chance to, to perform and do what he enjoys doing. Riding really fast. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure it, it will be this afternoon. So how am I feeling on a day like this? Um, I'm, I don't get nervous, which is kind of weird, really. I think everybody else gets nervous, and I don't when we're at BSB either. Um, James, I don't think, gets nervous. It's, it, this is what he does. I think this is the time when he's most, most calm, most serene. It's, it's when he's doing what he does. Um, I think people get more nervous in the build. James gets more nervous in the build-up. Um, the guys are impeccable with what they do, so I know the bike will be perfect. And James, James is in, in a happy place, I think, at the minute. He's on song at the moment, so what's to be nervous about? It's all is good. And it's my birthday, so he owes me a podium. That's the way I look at it. Podium for my birthday, you know. I'm not asking for much, it am I? Fair to me. I? I don't think I'm asking for much. I mean, it won't even cost him any money. Just go out and get me a podium. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I've noticed over the last few years that doing the chain and the pit stop, the, um, the chain when it comes in, we run what's called a 520 chain. Now, a standard road bike would have a 525 chain on it. Uh, and some even have a bigger chain than that. And um, we obviously put a lightweight racing chain on. And I've noticed in the pits that there's times when, you know, it's getting really hot, the chain is. And I think a lot of it is because now the bike's producing 220 brake horsepower. It's a lot of power. And you're expecting a chain to go in that's not getting lubed every two laps, if that makes sense. So there's lube that's permanently in the chain because they're like an O-ring sealed chain. But I've found that the rollers get really hot. So what I've found is if I just lube the sprocket before, it helps. It's a little trick. Um, probably should tell everybody that. I was just about to say. Yeah. Probably cut that out, actually. Cut, cut it out, yeah, blur it, pixel it. Out. Blur it out and just put, he's talking shit again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm doing it for. Because I've noticed that the chains are starting to get really hot when I do this pit stop. So I found when I do this, it helps, because then you're getting a little bit of lube back on the chain every time you do a pit stop. It's all little bits. It's little bits to make the big bit to make the six laps. And without it, you're stuck inside the rope chain off, or worse. You know. Doing the pit stop, it's about the fuel going in, the fuel being, well, that's the key. You've got to get the wheel at the same time. So it's a, it's a lot to do. And the system on this is okay, but it's not the best of systems. I've, I've worked with easier systems before. This is quite tricky on this bike. So yeah, I'm a little bit apprehensive today. We'll see how it goes. Um, fingers crossed it, it works, but uh, well, no, we'll soon find out. <laughs> so it's Sunday. It's the day of the first Superbot race. Um, big six lapper. Uh, James did the Supersport race yesterday, so that's done and dusted. Nice fourth position there for him. Um, so this is the Superbike. The, the guys are just preparing that now, doing the last few little essential bits before we go up to technical inspection and then uh, up on the road to start the race. Um, big thing with the Subot race is two pit stops. It's, uh, it's a lot of pressure for the team. It's a nerve-wracking thing. It's, uh, it's your part as a mechanic to play a massive role in the actual race. Uh, in the pit stop, you can gain time, you can lose time. So we need to be on our A game. Um, there's three major jobs in a pit stop. There's the fuel, there's the rear tire, and then there's the person that removes the fuel cap, changes James's visor, and cleans the screen, and at the same time, if James wants any suspension adjustments doing, can quickly get a few little bits done. It's a lot to do, it's all done under 60 seconds. The whole uh, pit stop time is dictated by how long the fuel takes to go into the fuel tank. It's between 20 to 24 litres, 
depending on how much is used. We'll have it brimmed at the start of the race, so 24 litres. When it comes in the pit stop, we then just fill it back to the top. We don't want to run the risk of him running out towards the end of the race, so we, um, we always make sure it's absolutely brimmed. Alan does the rear wheel, so when James comes into the stop, he's on the paddock stand and then straight into changing the rear wheel. John Boy does the fuel cap, visor, and the screen. So he, as soon as James stops, he's fuel cap off, and then it's my job to get the fuel funnel in the tank as fast as possible. So then we can just do our bits. What James is going to have a breather. What about if you're spilling on these bits and bobs? He you, shouts at me then. Tell you off. Yeah, it, we've, we've, had that, we've had that before. He says he starts to get a little bit of chaffing, which he don't really like. So uh, at the same time we're doing the fuel, I've got a water bottle. James takes a water bottle off me. He can talk to us. He's normally quite chilled out when he comes into a pit stop. He sometimes takes a piss out of us. Sometimes asks us how our jobs are going. I relay some information to him. Normally how far away the rider ahead of him is and how far away the rider behind is. And sometimes how far away first position is if it's within our reach to push to get to that number one position where we need to be at the end of the race. So that's pretty much a pit stop. Um, two and a half hours time, we'll be pushing him off ready to start the race and then wait in 30 minutes for him to come into a pit stop and, uh, and then it's our time to shine. for this we had ideal weather conditions here yesterday and we've got perfect weather conditions here once again ready for this RST superbike race we opened TT 2024 yesterday and it was one for the record books as Michael Dunlop joined Joey on 26 TT wins and brothers Ryan and Callum Crow tasted TT success as well. Who will get their hands on the RST Superbike TT Trophy? Kicking us off is John McGuinness. Next up is Jimbo Hillier on the WTF Honda, looking for his first big bike win. It's grueling physically on these big bikes, but it's grueling mentally as well. You know you can't make a mistake. You've got to be accurate. We heard it from the guys down in the studio as well. It's not just about that. It's about two pit stops as well, with a wheel change included. Oh, and that's James Hilly again. It all wrong at the Crosby jump. It's easier to do. You've got to be on the right-hand side of the road, off the crown. If you're in the middle, you get uh, a lot more air. That's uh, That would have felt big to him and scary. That's Hillier, but where's uh, Hutchie's not gone through? So there we see. Oh, well, there he is. I think he's ahead there. of him on the yeah, road. I think so. Hillier, where does he slot? Second, 2.9 seconds off Dean Harrison. There is James Hillier now heading through Kurt Michael. This is the helicam there of Hillier with Michael Dunlop all behind him trying to fish her way through. Todd and Hillier's do holding on here to Davy Todd as well. James Hillier is clinging on to Davy Todd up the mountain. When you think about it, just every from every element of the TT races is a test. Yes, it is. Bike, yep. human, <laughs> mental, mental, physical. It's just yeah. It, it is the biggest challenge for anyone on two wheels. And I can see the helicopter above. There's a buzzer going off. There's a spare wheel here, a tire ready. Visor change, look, here we go. Nice and relaxed, these boys in the paddock. Obviously, so, so, so experienced. Nowhere near as many flies at the moment uh, on, on the screens of the bikes. No problems, they've changed the rear, the rear's going in. It's frantic down here. Obviously. Look at that from Hillier. Well, James Hillier has stretched a bit over Jamie Coward. He's fifth at the moment, ahead of Coward. Coward then sixth. McGuinness in seven. Find out. 
Next up to Glenn Helen then is Davey Todd and he's closed that gap to Dean Harrison. James Hillyell, the WTF Honda, fighting at the moment for fifth place with John McGuinness. He's 1.2 seconds up on McGuinness to the bungalow with Coward 4.5 down. So Hillier, McGuinness, Coward in a decent scrap still for fifth as we approach the final sixth lap of this RST Superbike TT race. And at the moment, quite honestly, you can't call it. I scared when Davey come past, I scared myself, he's gone, just try it, but overriding, trying yeah. to... All the others were good. I came in the Just seemed to slide a bit then that last lap, I don't know. Like lap one and two, I feel like I was holding on too tight, like right over to try and Crosby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see with one. <laughs> First time it's done all week. They said you had a big nice. moment, yeah. Oh, and I got a bit complacent. I thought it'd be alright in it. I don't know if it was just a crosswind up there or something. What were we there? The fifth? What happened to Michael's always at the last minute. Right yeah. He was 25 seconds on the lead. Set to stop for the bottom of the pit. Oh, Hickey won Davis bike. What's going on here? Keep trying. No. A little so. bit of luck ahead of us. You know, for us, would have been nice, wouldn't it? Nearly got some. So when I when I was with them guys, it's, it's like little bits. They just go. Um, um, well it's not like it's not like that. It's just it's like I don't know if it showed when Davey passed me and sold me, but I was like, <laughs> you stayed with me for a long time. I can absolutely bit the screen to stay with him yeah. and like exerted too much, you know. And then on the on the mountain, mountain mile, it just he just goes. Whoop. You can't argue it. You can't. Make up for that, can you? Yeah. Just, uh, I tried, but <laughs> I, 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 I honestly like scared. And if you remember doing your leg dangling and everything, me, I nearly went on with Craig a few places. I was just like maximum. Get a little twenty. Well done, boys. That's the speech that way. You're the fastest that A little bit. Three Make seconds. A race, uh... Let's go. <laughs> Very good, yeah. Was it? Yeah. Hold on. Bubble, yeah. That's hard, that. It was back and forth. 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 Thoughts are going through your head and not Sally. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> when you get open the bike of the chair, really nice. Big moment. Boom. <laughs> I'm just being pins by him. Oh, he passed me. He passed me coming out of uh, Brandywell, somewhere up there. Then he went straight on to the Craig, so I nailed him to the Craig. And then he he got past me into Hillbury or something like that. And then he brought out Brakes himself at, at uh, Sidepost, so I nailed him again. I'm just going to give it a few batting. Try and what, uh, yeah, fair. He look kept getting toes though. I, I'm not sitting duck up one, aren't you? No, he got passed by them. And they got drilled like on the straight. Uh, Did I get toes? Vicky, Vicky nailed me from uh, Brandy, Brandish to Hillbury. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, like, that's what I thought. Them BMs got another cylinder, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was going to show you though, doesn't it? It's like. Did you know how safe you were? Know. Yeah, I was in my balls. I was just thinking. It was plus 0.5, oh, minus point. I was like, there about. Ah, f <laughs> Keep going as fast as I can. <laughs> Good night. <day. laughs> yeah, that was a tough race, though. Well, uh, Superbike race one completed. <laughs> uh, P5 in the end. 
dropped to P7 at one point. I saw a pit board and I was like, I am not finishing seventh. So uh, dug deep. Uh, it was a hard, weird. The end of the race seemed, I, well, the last lap I tried tried to push on and um, I, it's maximum effort all the time, but particularly hard on the last lap to try and make up some time. But um, lap one and lap two, I felt I possibly held on to the bike too hard, like over rode it and um, I was thinking, geez, this is gonna be a long race. Uh, well, it is, a long, it is actually a long race, but uh, longer than I remember them being. But uh, lap three and four weren't too bad. And then, uh, I don't know, it's always, a, I kind of forget how much of a, a roller coaster a six lap race is here, you know, there's kind of, Easy, not easier parts, I would say easier isn't the word, it's less hard, less hard parts of the race. Um, there's nothing easy about a six lap race here. Um, but it, you are, <laughs> no pun intended, you are on a bit of a roller coaster ride, uh, physically and mentally, you know, up and down. There was a few, I possibly, I would say scared myself, I'll admit that, a few times uh, overriding, trying to, particularly when Davy Todd came past, those BMWs are so fast, like in a straight line, um, and I just had nothing to compete with, with that other than to try and make it back in the corners, and uh, definitely went a bit harder in a few sections than uh, I normally would, just trying to kind of hang on the back and, and get dragged along, but um, there's no way I could have ridden the whole race like that at all. I probably wouldn't be sat here now if I had off. So I had to kind of wind it in, uh, ride within myself. And, um, you know, the bike is, is pretty good. We just need, I suppose we need a bit more horsepower is, is, uh, is the, the truth of it. Um, so a tad frustrating, but it, it is, that's it. Where, where, where I did, I'm here, finished. Fifth position in an Alaman TT Superbike race, so I, I don't want to moan. I don't intend to finish fifth. I want to finish better, but uh, we'll keep chipping away and uh, see. You know that's race one done. Race big bike race one done. We have got three more big bike races, two three lap super stock races, and then a finale senior six lap race next Saturday. So it's not like we haven't got another go. Um, anyway, I've got a beer on. A beautiful San Miguel that's been uh, sat in the fridge waiting. I've been looking forward to this. Um, well earned. Uh, so I'm going to sit down, enjoy this, get my kit off, get a shower, and then it's the boss's birthday. So I think we're going for an Indian tonight, and uh, maybe a few more, a few more beers for tomorrow's day off. Uh, and I would say day off. It's a non-riding day. There's quite a lot of PR stuff to do tomorrow. I've got a bus lap and where I take visitors around and talk on the microphone about what we do on the lap that's uh, just got to get uh, you get a bit extra coin for that so it uh, got to get it in while I'm here but uh, yeah all in all I'll take that fifth just beat McGuinness I think I dropped well, I dropped down to seventh Coward and McGuinness went ahead um, and on the pit stop the guys told me who I was battling with so I just uh, McGuinness beat me at Northwest 200, and I was adamant not to let him beat me in this one. So um, yeah, it was good. And physically, I think I pulled my shoulder a little bit with maybe in the wind or where I've just kind of what I said today about having to overwork your body maybe when the bike snatches or pulls in the wind. So I need to get a bit of a uh, bit of maintenance on my shoulder. But uh, other than that, I feel pretty good physically. That's it's probably the best I've ever felt after a six lap race, which is uh, maybe that means I could try harder, but I don't think it does because I was trying hard. Um, we'll see. Anyway, we can regroup, look at the data, and that's it. But uh, yeah, nice to get a big bike race done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again tomorrow.